Shall we do a movie you woo for foo? Go ahead. If you want to do a movie you woo for foo, go ahead. I don't give a f- and I'll do it. And I'll and and that's some shit that I won't even really argue with niggas about. I will legit speed run the f- out of that. Okay, why do you have one ready? Why are y'all so weird? How long until the DNA results? Um, DNA results vary. Um, it could be a cup. Why the f- is this just here? Okay, this is kind of crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Why the f- is little bit? And I'm about to speed run this, so watch me go crazy. Watch me go crazy and work. Let me work this. Let me work the system right now in my favor. Hold up, I got you. Shut up. Boom. I'm not even going to look. You know what's crazy? I have not seen Avatar. I did it and found out I was like 25% Lithuanian and like 2% Swedish. El race. Um, I haven't seen Avatar, but I love Rocky. Um, so we going to go with Rocky. Not too crazy of a decision. Equalizer versus Titanic. Personally, if it's me, I'm swimming out of this ocean. So I'll, why don't you feel bad for Steve Lacey? I've been waiting for like 30 minutes. I'm going to come back. I'm going to tell you why. All right, chill, relax. Hold on. Um, Equalizer, to your, this Equalizer was fucking terrible only because Denzel is 65 years old. There's no way he should still be fighting niggas. So it's just, it don't make sense. The movie, I just didn't want to fuck with it, you know? So even though I would have survived, I also would have beat, I also would have beat the shit out of Denzel. The fact that they was letting that nigga get that shit off in the movie was crazy. Um, Spider-Man OG, not really a competition. Never seen a Pirates of the Caribbean movie, never want to. Um, Boys in the Hood, sorry, it is what it is. You're not touching it. Um, Men in Black versus Goldfinger. I don't like any of the old James Bond movies like that, to be fair. Men in Black was fucking hilarious, so I'm going to go with the Will Smith version, and he was smacking niggas before his time. Bad Boys versus Rush Hour, this is kind of crazy. Wow. I didn't expect this matchup. I didn't. I'm definitely, I've definitely seen Rush Hour more. Um, but it wasn't Tia, Tia Leone, Leone in Bad Boys? She looked real good in that movie too. Mm. She looked great in that movie, bro can't lie to you but it was this whole dynamic like rush hour and rush hour 2 were great they just should have stopped at two rush hour or xenophobia <laughs> oh my god bro stop asian hate okay fine mad cute asian things oh yeah you're right there was that one scene no that was the second movie you're such a fucking liar but the little girl in here was funny too. Jurassic Park or Avengers Infinity War. I wasn't a big fan of Jurassic Park, so I'm gonna go with Infinity War. Joker or Fast Five? I hate every Fast and the Furious movie. I hate every Fast and the Furious movie. And even though I was a fan of Joker, it's gonna get beat out by something else at some point. So uh Batman versus Fast and Furious. Now I remember people were I remember people were asking me about my opinion of Batman and I remember one day I tweeted uh so I finally watched the new Batman movie and I think I'm going to just keep my opinion to myself. That's what I said. And niggas started trying to go crazy on my shit. Like acting like I just said the most heinous thing in the world. Like I just insulted Jesus. And I'll be honest with you this movie was not fucking entertaining whatsoever. I hated this fucking oh, I didn't hate it. I didn't. I thought there was so much good shit about the movie but i also was like bro it's three hours of nothing i i just was I, I remember i remember niggas hyping it up like crazy this is the greatest batman movie oh my god and i realized i'm gonna shut the fuck up because it has to get an opportunity to build on to itself okay the first batman batman begins well no wasn't that batman begins with christian bale too um that one was a slow burner as well. So I'm not going to say, oh, my God, I can't believe this movie was so boring. But for it to have been hyped the way it was, holy fuck, was it a letdown for me personally. 
The acting was dry. The situations were bleak. And I realize it's Gotham and the whole city got to be great. But there was legit nothing that I enjoyed about this movie. Outside of some of the special effects, the camera work was decent. And I liked the music. Out, I lit like nothing else about it was enjoyable for me. That's just me personally. I'm not telling you not to enjoy it. If you love it, then you love it. Um, that's just me though. But Fast and the Furious, the originals. Hold on, cause I might be, I might be kind of like, I, it's not a competition. I'm, I'm not going to entertain it. But f- you, you, you can tell I don't read Batman. Okay, for, okay. I'm so glad you said that. You're a bitch. Number one. I should not have to read the original Batman for a movie to be good. I realize there are certain contexts that make sense when you watch the movie if you got the source material. I realize that. But I don't give a fuck if the movie itself cannot be viewed as entertaining from a nigga that doesn't have the context. I shouldn't need to see every ounce of source material for the for the for the spin-off or the break-off series to be enjoyable. None of it was. Both of these movies are L's for me personally. I don't like either one of these movies like that, to be fair. Um, is that Jason Statham? Or am I tripping? I don't know who the fuck this is. My inclination wants me to go go the transporter, but I'm not a stereotypical, you know, uh, meathead in the sense that Every action movie is going to win over every comedy or every drama. Movie. Like the transport, transporter, I guess, was cool, maybe. But if you put it up next to like the Bourne series or something like that, I could easily, you know what I'm saying, take it out. I didn't like grownups like that. So this is just a case where one movie that was trying to be funny just wasn't as funny for me. But I, 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 I'll suck it up. I'll suck it up. Karate Kid clears. And I like King Kong. Was this a 2004 one? Oh, this came out in 2005. You know what I... Okay, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm keep speed running. I'm going to keep speed running. I swear to God. But... Bro, I remember when I played the GameCube version of King Kong, I was introduced to a completely different world. I remember when I got this game on GameCube, and this was like my first experience ever outside of like Metroid using like or seeing a first person shooter and i was just like immersed i never finished the game because i I, it was a rental but i'm like yo i got a fucking gun i'm like i got a fucking gun i can shoot animals what the fuck this is crazy i can jump off a mountain i was introduced to a whole new world bro i really was I didn't even know it was capable. I didn't even know the GameCube was capable of shit like this. I'll be honest with you. Throwing sticks at fucking dinosaurs and shit like that. And I never made it far enough into the game, you know what I'm saying, to, to do anything with King Kong. But it is what it is. Karate Kid OG. Yes, I played Metroid Prime. We're brothers. Eskimos. Give me a high five. Yeah. Um, Karate Kid OG. That's my baby. Plenty of soundtracks from the original these are actually a great movies to compare. These are great movies to compare right here because Transformers is as to a certain degree and so is I Am Legend. But they're both like they both have great qualities to them. Uh, I've definitely seen I Am Legend. I've seen them about an equal amount of times too. I Am Legend is technically ass. It is. But it's like very entertaining ass. Like they're both extremely entertaining for the end result of the movie to not really like hit me like crazy. Um, But I still really enjoy both of these movies. I did. Like I, I had a lot of fun watching both of them. I can't. I, it's, it's hard for me to determine which one is more entertaining though. This is when Shia LaBeouf was in his like great teenage actor bag. Or maybe he was a young adult at this point. I don't really know. Hmm. I am Legend versus Transformers. Sam Witwicky is a trash name. It is. I'll go with I am Legend. I'll go with I am Legend because the niggas, the the little wa- the walkers and shit like that, they were scary. 
They was kind of spooky. Never seen Indiana Jones. And I don't even remember this Harry Potter movie. Hot take, but Transformers 3 wasn't as bad as people remember it to be. Transformers 3 is when they introduce Mark Wahlberg as the main character, right? And that was that was trash. That's four? Wait, so Shia LaBeouf, Shia LaBeouf got three Transformer movies? Holy shit. I don't remember the third one. Which one was Anthony Anderson in? He was in the first one, right? Shia had a trilogy? That's crazy. He had a different girlfriend in the third one, didn't he? He's not really hit like that, yo. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with Harry Potter. Mmm. I'm about to. I'm about to show you something. And I'll touch that nigga. It's going down in here. I'm with the money team. This is my, I'm about to show you something. I'm sorry. Harry Potter and Prisoner of Azkaban is the second best Harry Potter movie. Fun fact, the director told the kids to dress themselves so they looked realistically shabby like teenagers. Bro, I'm going to be honest with you. Whatever the fuck it's called. Do y'all remember the scene? There's only one scene in Get Rich or Die Trying that I remember. And it's literally a nigga getting stabbed with a sword. A nigga was in the studio or he was in his office or some shit like that. A nigga li uh, pulled out a fucking sword, a literal sword, and stabbed the nigga with it. That's the only thing in this entire movie that I remember. Only thing. It was a cane. It was a cane sword. He stabbed the nigga with it. Why was that in the movie? That's the only part of the movie that I remember, and that's why it's going over 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 hunger games but that's the only shit that i remember crazy dark knight love this movie it's probably gonna win i'm glad that y'all mentioned world war z i'm really glad that y'all mentioned world war z because this is the worst movie that brad pitt has ever done that or that new one he did with leonardo dicaprio eight mile easily you know what would be crazy crazy though if eight mile and get rich or die trying had to go up against each other where the fuck is belly by hype williams why are you talking like that? Chill, bro. Chillax. Yeah, the list could have been better. We ain't got enough. We ain't got enough like classic great movies on here. Hmm. But what I will say is, y'all don't know the amount of times that I've watched the Karate Kid. So for per for personal reasons, I'm gonna go with the Karate Kid. Um, I know you probably, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck is that? Um, Dark Knight, because it's got Heath Ledger in it too, which is crazy. Um, wasn't a huge Harry Potter fan. But, to be honest, if I had to watch Harry Potter all the way from the beginning, I probably would. I probably would watch Harry Potter all the way from the, from the beginning. What is this? Is this a different one? Dot Sean, what's your favorite horror movie or Hold on. something that scared you? Is this a better one? Texas Chainsaw from 2003 and 6 that did it for me. Let me see and what this Sean is. Re -watch Get Rich or Die the fuck is this? Top tier. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no, I can't do this. I can't. Okay. The, I'm, I'm going to let you know right now. I'm going to bookmark this maybe. There is no way in human fuck that I will ever be able to do film scores and be finished with this in under six hours. There's no way. There's no way. Also. Also. My favorite horror movie. The one that scared slash spooked me the most. Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 03 was fire. But I'm going to tell you why. It fucked me up and it scared me because at the end of the movie, they said, based off of a true story, that's what scared me to death. 
And I remember looking over at my mom who was watching the movie movie with me. And I looked over and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I thought this was a movie. I'm like, I'm like, mom. I'm like, mom, what the fuck? Did you just, I thought this was a movie. What are we doing? I'm like, that was serious? I got fucked. I was scared. I was, I was shook. I was shook. I was forever shook. So basically I'm pussy. Nigga, I was eight. I was eight. Stupid fuck. Stupid bitch. Okay, movie scenes. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Movie scenes is valid. Movie scenes is super valid. Movie scenes is super valid. Oh, my fucking goodness. But there's a bunch of them that I haven't seen, too, so I can't really. He boiled two kids alive in real life. RIP to that man. Or to them kids. I'm going to go with Avenji. Aven Avenji? I'm about to speed run the rest of this shit. Boys in the hood, easy. Um, 8 Mile is basically Rocky with rapping, so I'm going to go with 8 Mile. Uh, Titanic love story. I'm a I'm a sucker for it. Can't lie. Uh, Rush Hour easily over Batman. Way more entertaining. Way more uh, in my body. After coming back to it, Spider Man OG. I was about to make a case for why Get Rich or Die Trying might be better, but fuck it. We gonna uh, we gonna chill out on it. Uh, Rush Hour more entertaining. More moments. Uh, push a goddamn button, as as uh, as 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 lady would say. Infinity War is better. Infinity War is better. I'm not picking Spider-Man. Spider-Man has too many flaws in it that I've come to know and understand and accept becoming an adult. So I think growing up is realizing that the the original Spider-Man OG series is not the best one. That's what growing up is. And I'm past this point. I'm past that point. Uh, Dark Knight. Sorry, Titanic. Uh, Boys in the Hood. Sorry, Eminem. Um, fuck. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Nah, I'm fucked. I'm screwed here. I'm literally screwed here. There's nothing for me to do here. I'm screwed. I'm fucked. I'm done. Grits. Ugh. Now, I could probably watch Rush Hour more and, like, repeat watches more. But The Dark Knight, what Heath Ledger did in that fucking movie, oh, my God, bro. He was so good. And if his if, if one of his scenes isn't in one of these best movie scenes of all time lists, we're going to have a problem. So I'm going to go with The Dark Knight. boys in the hood i shouldn't have done that i shouldn't have done that it's gonna be the dark knight though i shouldn't have done that but i'm not gonna let nostalgia win i'm gonna go with the dark knight I, I feel like that's cool i feel like that's cool i'm cool with the dark knight winning but we needed way more movie selections bro you can't say bro come on and that's all we got we don't have much to we don't have much to choose from 